There is an increasing need within the chemical industry for materials with a smaller carbon footprint. But ensuring regulatory and technical compliance is a complex business. Chemical Processing Services offers bespoke consultancy in the field of polymer chemistry, providing support to a wide range of international companies. Here at the Catalyst Science Discovery Centre and Museum in Widnes, Cheshire, the next generation are informed and inspired about the power of chemistry. The North West is also home to Paul Jones, an entrepreneur at the forefront of using innovative techniques to reduce the environmental impact of chemical processes. Among Paul's multi-award-winning companies is CPS. Tell me more about CPS. What exactly does your company do? Well, I've been in the industry for 40 years now, and I set CPS up as a, uh, a company to house patented IP and then to license that technology overseas to allow domestic manufacture to eliminate or reduce the carbon footprint associated with transportation. So we've been working on products utilising sustainable feedstocks and using green principles for manufacture, but um, we're still having to transport goods so this was a way of, of eliminating that aspect. With two of Paul's businesses already holding the Queen's Award for Innovation and a Global iChemie Award for Polymers designed to prevent endocrine disruption, his third company, CPS, was the Global iChemie Award Startup of the Year in 2021 and followed the trend of his other businesses by winning the inaugural King's Award for Innovation earlier this year. The 2021 Royal Society of Chemistry Chemical World Entrepreneur of the Year is also much sought after, and Paul's series of newly patented products are globally recognised for helping to resolve environmental issues. Sitting here reminds me that it's been over 300 years since a wave of ingenuity and innovation swept from the shores of Britain, pioneering a revolution that would change the face of our planet. The creation of machinery brought about urbanisation, social reform and production on a mass scale. These elements themselves can divide opinion, but the associated resource depletion and environmental pollution should not be in question. We now need to harness the same resourcefulness and ingenuity to again revolutionise the industrial practice and push towards a circular economy. In all that he does, whether it's in the world of business or education, Paul is intent on inspiring a new generation of scientists into the chemical industry. I think the drive to redress the impact modern societal demands have on climate change will come in many guises and it requires a holistic response. Generally, as members of society, we all have our part to play in contributing to this effort in respect of regulations, guiding ethics and of course our own moral compass. These life choices stem from our immediate environment. However, as business leaders, entrepreneurs, engineers and scientists, I feel we have a greater obligation to utilise our positions to create solutions that will benefit the broader community and quite aptly, we have an opportunity to help engineer a sustainable world. Paul also believes it's important to share the company's globally recognised expertise in the pursuit of green solutions. I have the great privilege of sitting alongside some leading members of the scientific community in a consortium called FOREST. FOREST is an acronym for Advanced Lightweight Materials for Energy Efficient Structures. This project is an EU Horizon funded programme with a remit to decarbonise the transport sector in Europe, employing matrix materials derived from sustainable feedstocks and recovered carbon reinforcements. These projects call on multidisciplinary teams to coordinate efforts to develop new disruptive technology. We utilise suitable benchmarks to track progress and we employ best engineering practices to ensure scalability, mechanical integrity and product performance. So this is Chemploy, this is a new game that we devised to try and inspire and bring younger people to see the opportunities uh, in the chemical industry. Collaborative work extends to educating future generations and Paul and colleagues have teamed up with the Catalyst Museum in Widnes to promote employment in the chemical industry with their interactive game, Chemploy. So Paul, tell me what drives you, why do you do what you do? Our efforts target the provision of green solutions that allow all of the modern comforts without detriment to our planet, its resources or inhabitants. If we consider that the Earth has constantly evolved over billions of years, outlasting all of its residents, 
It's apparent the Earth will inevitably adapt and survive again. Without these changes, the question is, will we?